Alright guys, Tactical Bear back again today. Hope you enjoyed your Saturday once again so far. And we're going to talk about this rumour of Priester going to the Opta Gaming Los Angeles squad. Over the last few days, we talked about Dashi to the Huntsman definitely being a possibility. Arcities to Atlanta Phase looking more and more likely by the day. But the other side of this story really is, well, Priester to Opta Gaming Los Angeles in this kind of three-way trade where Dashi goes from OGLA to the Huntsman, Arcities goes from the Huntsman to Phase, and Priester goes from Phase back to OGLA. Certainly a possibility right now. Now, looking more and more likely by the day and Priester what a fantastic asset he was in the past to the 100 Thieves organization I'm sure Slasher and Kenny respect him greatly and well him coming back on there definitely creates a very scary prospect which I really don't think a lot of people are talking about right now people are talking about the FaZe Clan team of RCT, Simper, BZ and Selium potentially being deadly people are looking at the Huntsman team as well and you can see NRG um, Reddit tweets out this gif of Dashi yesterday so implying that maybe that's the case as well that he comes back with uh, with Scump of course over at the Chicago Huntsman but maybe Maybe people aren't taking this OGLA squad quite as seriously as they might need to, right? Because OGLA, with a disappointing and a lackluster season throughout the Modern Warfare season, definitely, you know, Slasher and Kenny, the, the stock, I suppose, in terms of the way um, the way fans view them, isn't quite what it was. But they showed once again at Champs that they can certainly turn up when the, uh, I suppose, that there's a living playing field and they were playing from Texas. And with Priester back into the squad and what they accomplished before, this could be one of the scariest squads in the game, to be honest. And if this does happen, like, they're right at the top of the power rankings in my opinion I mean not right at the top like I'd put probably phase number one but they're right up there to be honest like arguably top three already if this team does come together intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below as always like if you guys enjoy the video subscribe if you are new Rostermania rumors video coming tomorrow as well with some more behind the scenes stuff so make sure you do not miss that one this was the article that came out from Crone yesterday talking about how Dashi to the Huntsman um you know a BZ and Sim reuniting with Arcetes of course from the E United squad that won the world championship in the 2019 season and uh, you know, with Selim, of course, on the Atlanta phase. And then, as it says at the bottom here, after running a top six placing at the World Champs this year, Opti Gaming Los Angeles is looking to reunite another former trio. Priester, Slasher, and Kenny are set to join forces again on Opti Gaming with TJ Halley. So, we talked the other day about is TJ Halley going to stay or not, but um, well, Crone certainly thinks that TJ is going to remain on the starting lineup here. And this is what OGLA tweeted out a couple of days ago. They actually have the birthday on the same day. Slasher and Kenny certainly looks like to me that these guys are are going to stay a duo on the Opti Gaming Los Angeles squad for next season and then it remains the question who else is going to join them because uh, you know what a duo they have been over the years this comes out from too quick if I was any GM or coach I would be going after Priester kid is such a versatile player he would fit into any team and if you look on Priester's page you go to his likes right here and you scroll down a little bit you will find this tweet right here so Priester liking this tweet definitely implying that he's off the Atlanta phase right and a lot of this stuff I talk about of course is rumors by no means confirmed but once again another indication that Priester may not be on the FaZe Clan team that may not be on the Atlanta FaZe squad for next season and where does he potentially go right the rumour has it that maybe Opti Gaming Los Angeles are very likely it looks like the Huntsman were also interested in Priester so he definitely had some options OGLA and Huntsman are the two really that are being talked about here but Huntsman decided to go with Dashi and that's certainly an interesting move right because you think about what Priester can bring to a squad what he has brought to teams in the past not only in terms of being a flex but slaying when he needs to and um, you know kind of being the gel or the glue to a team in terms of he's always good vibes and he's willing to run any role and this kind of stuff um yeah that's why i think priest is such a talented player and definitely worthy of being on a fantastic team and i think it's interesting that if huntsman decided to pass up on priester and priester was interested maybe and um, yeah they decided to get dashi instead that's an interesting move in itself because dashi certainly has more upside potential i would say like if you get a perfect meta where dashi and formal can both run main assault rifles or you know however exactly it goes and scump and envoy on your smgs that is obviously a deadly team and probably going to be better than what Priester could bring to a squad if he was just there on his own however you've got the issue with Dashi potentially like motivation is there going to be if the team starts to have some chemistry issues is it going to go downhill Priester maybe wouldn't have those issues to the same degree and if the meta works out as like a three SMG or you know you need three SMGs on a majority of maps all of a sudden that Dashi move is looking a little bit questionable I and mean, it might still be fine but you know Priester is a less risky pickup in terms that whatever situation you put Priester in whatever role he has to run whatever he has to do on the squad he's 
he's going to have no issues doing that at all. And that's why I think OGLA are such a scary squad on paper here, because not only do they have, well, TJ, who's a great sub player, especially through the World War II season. Black Ops 3 was solid as well. This season wasn't so good by any means, but, you know, it is what it is. People have off years. A number of great players have had off years this season. So, you know, TJ, if he bounced back here next season, Kenny, of course, on World War II was absolutely impeccable. And to be honest, he was very good at the end of the Black Ops 4 and was decent this season at times. He can also run a flex. So you can have Priester and, um, you know, you can have Priester and TJ on your SMGs. Kenny is your kind of flex role, or you can play it how you want, right? Priester can do the flex. Kenny can be on an SMG if he likes it. And then Slasher on the main AR. Honestly, looks really, really nice in my opinion. And, um, you know, we've got to ask the question about Enable as well, because Enable, of course, was on this squad on the 100 Thieves team that had such good success throughout the Black Ops 4 season. He's now a free agent from the Seattle Surge, as we talked about earlier today. Question is, what's he going to do? He did make a video saying that his plans were to either compete this season or maybe go back to Halo Infinite and compete or do content. But if the opportunity is raised as a potential coach for the Optic Gaming squad and, you know, reuniting once again that organization from 100 Thieves, I mean, Crowder, of course, being on FaZe Clan, that would be the ideal coach. But, you know, I'm not sure that's exactly going to happen. Maybe he goes streaming full time. Maybe he just continues at the Atlanta phase. I doubt he goes to OGLA, in my opinion. But maybe Enable as a coach or something is something you consider to bring that squad back together as he was considered something of a glue to that team a couple of years ago when it was a thing. So this is the OGLA squad right now. This is how I see it going. Dashy seems like he's going to the Huntsman. Then you've got Kenny, Slasher, TJ, and Priester as your as your four, right? And I just think on paper, this is a really, really scary squad. Then again, we talked about how good on paper the um, the Optic Gaming Los Angeles squad was going to be going into Modern Warfare with Dashy, of course, and Jcap at the start. That didn't work out. However, this time with Priester back in as kind of a glue, I know that Slasher does a uh, rate Priester very, very highly indeed. And well, if this does come true, I think this could be a very, very scary squad because Slasher has been one of the best ARs over a number of years. Kenny, if he gets back to form, can be superb, as can TJ, and Priester may bring it all together. We saw on the 100 Thieves squad in the Black Ops 4 season, early on when they had Pharaoh, they were, you know, struggling at the Pro League qualifiers and all this kind of stuff. When they brought in Priester, yes, they did bring in Crowder as a coach at the same time, but Priester was the one who was actually playing the games, right? And this guy coming into play really revolutionized that squad. Not only was Priester's performances individually fantastic, but he also seemed to get the best and help, um, you know, elevate his teammates, I suppose, to another level. And that team, as soon as Priester joined, immediately became the best team in the game for a time. And, uh, well, that's uh, nothing to scoff at, really. And you've got, uh, you know, a core three of those guys back on their squad with TJ as your SMG that's, you know, had decent success in the past. Um, with Slasher, of course, I mean, on the, you know, Rise Nation squads in the World War II season, honestly, a really deadly squad. And I think um, not something at all to be underestimated here as we go into the next season. A few other things before we finish off the video then. Spacely comes out with, of course, free agent to sign with a franchise going into Cold War. Had to turn down two CDL offers earlier this year due to my previous contract with Gen G or whatever through Black Ops 4 and what was left on it can be a major asset to any team. Only player to go undefeated in Search and Destroy in the Pro League and have coaching experience. So I wonder what will happen to Spacely, but um, you know, not really a name that's been talked about too much this season, but did have some great success on the Gen G squad in the Black Ops 4 season. Who knows what happens this season, but with 48 starting spots only, as we talked about earlier today, it's a very difficult one. Los Angeles Grillers also confirmed that Bevels and Ricky will be reuniting and uh, coaching the Los Angeles Grillers going forwards. I'm sure they've got a tough job on their hands right now deciding who's actually going to come into their squad because a lot of players probably looking to go on to Los Angeles Grillers. And then, of course, Blast, as a lot of you guys pointing out to me, says Mr. Challenger, highly implying that, well, he might not be on the starting lineup anymore for next season, which may be not, not exactly a surprise, but, um, well, certainly not a welcome one for him. B-Sport Josh as well. This I thought was very interesting. I'm no longer coaching Paris Legion. After a year away from competing, it made me realize how much I missed it, and I'm not ready to give up on the dream of getting back into the Pro League. If any franchises would like a sub who's competing at the top of the AM scene to be the you know, second pair of eyes to help them learn the game and keep up to date with meta developments, then do let me know. I must say it does seem strange for someone who, if they were guaranteed a coaching opportunity for next season, would just turn it down to try and compete in probably the most competitive time ever in Call of Duty to try and get onto a pro league squad of course you know his plan is to go through challenges and get back into the pro league at some point and you know prove his worth maybe again this season to come back but um yeah it's going to be a very difficult road but uh well good luck to b-sport of course and then just to finish off the video i'm sure a lot of you guys have been seeing these um you know the alpha gameplay for cold war that came out a couple of days ago zuma actually was spotted with it installed yesterday and priester was also certainly playing it i think shane was playing it as well so definitely some really really cool stuff and i thought the gameplay looked pretty 
good. There was definitely some mixed opinions on it from the community. But well, we do actually get a multiplayer reveal in like four days time. So not too long to wait. But really good to see that the professionals are actually playing the game, giving feedback for, to the developers. So when it drops, hopefully we have a great title. And uh, well, hopefully ranked play isn't too far behind the curve either. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like if you did, subscribe if you are new as always. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Let's try. <laughs> I'm coming. Could be circle, could be circle. No, dude. Hey, Nick, Nick, Nick. Hey, mid, hey, mid. Oh, Shit on! Oh, nice, I'm coming out. Fox just spawned. He just spawned. Oh my god. Oh. I'm pointing, I'm pointing,